Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to introduce you a new developed tool, S-Clone, which aims to do statistical modeling of copy number variations in single cells. And for this stage, it focuses on the single cell RNA sequencing data. One main reason copy number variations are started in single cell cancer research is that the normal cell types always have the deployed genomes, while the anoploid copy number profiles are always related to human tumors. The identification of copy number variations profiles in single cells can help to distinguish the tumor cells from normal cells. And then, the copy number variation profiles at the single cell resolution helps the clonal reconstruction in tumor cells. So we hope that the copy number variation calling from the single cell RNA sequencing data can not only detect the copy number variation, but also help to do clonal reconstruction. There are four methods to copy number variation calling related task in the single cell RNA sequencing data. And I benchmarked the methods on three data sets and got the results here. Through the CASPER and the honey budget use the uh, B allele frequency information, the result is not so good. And InfraCMV and copycat is good one just to use the expression information. but cannot detect the loss of heterozygosity event. It is obvious to infer DNA copy number events from the RNA-seq because gene expression can provide depth information. However, just depend on the expression profile cannot help to distinguish which allele have the copy number variations. Actually, based on the genotype, we can get B allele frequency information from UMI counting, which is helpful in calling the important allele specific mutations, such as the copy neutral loss of the heterozygosity in cancer. And the LOH event is missed if just based on the expression level. So combine the B allele frequency can enhance the copy number variation calling in both the LOH identification and also the haplotype specific copy number variations detection. However, the single cell RNA sequencing data sparsity result in the same probability property in both read count and B allele information. So we tried the negative binomial modeling in the read count and the, the beta binomial modeling in the three steps phase the B allele frequency, then integrate both the information into an HMM framework for the copy number variation state calling. We apply the X-clone in a gastric cancer sample with bulk RNA sequencing and the single cell DNA sequencing calling results at the ground truth. Compare with the ground truth, the single cell RNA seq copy number variation calling results are quite accurate and comprehensive. So the summary of the X-clone, facing strategy in the allele balance information can work well. And the three-step facing strategy is quite helpful. And enhance the detection of the hypotype aware copy number variations from the single cell RNA sequencing data and the HMM framework in XCLON is helpful to code the copy number variation states accurately. And 
The future plan of X clone is the inference of the tumor clones based on the hypotype aware copy number variations and uh, maybe can extend to support multi or mixed. Thanks and looking forward to the comments and the questions.